Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of very quick and easy macros. And see, my interface is all screwed up because I'm used to playing at 2560 by 1600 resolution. Uh, for the purpose of YouTube, I've set this to 1080p. So everything is all screwed up, but that's fine. I'm not going to do very much. Um, I'm playing on two accounts, as you can see. Here is one of my magicians. And one of the more important macros is follow. So I made one here. You can make your own. I've already set mine. But if I want to make a new one, find the blank page, right click, give it a name, fill it out, hit accept. This is what it looks like. Make sure that I target character name. Have a little bit of a pause just in case there's some lag on the server or my connection to the server more like. And have it follow. Follow now works if you are even outside of the group. So that's helpful. But here we're going to demonstrate. I'm way over here, but I'm still within range. I will click follow, targets him, automatically follows. If I move my druid, here she comes with the mage. Okay. And move independently and it'll break follow. As you can see, she's not moving anymore. Okay. On my druid, I have a cool macro here. What it will do is cast invisibility on the group and also uh, give the group cheetah speed. I've linked the two together. I can have them separate here anyway, but link them together. I called it shared camo. And here are the alt activate numbers. How this works is if I press V, it brings up my AAs. Uh, I believe these are both in class. Maybe not. Archetype. I'm looking for shared camouflage. So it's ability activation ID 518. So there it is. It's going to activate these two at the same time. There's no pause. And the other one is going to be Communion of the Cheetah. So that's number 939. So here they are. Uh, timer 100 is going to show a cooldown timer of 10 seconds between use. And that's because this has refresh time of 15 and okay so maybe i want to add that to like 150 so 15.0 seconds give that a little correction um, the other one i think was seven seconds so Invisible. and it also has unit of the cheetah on both characters. I'm gonna follow. Okay. Just gonna kill one or two things. So I really don't want to play with this kind of interface. Pretty awful. I have spell sets that are memorized. And I can save it, name it whatever I want. That switches spells very quickly. And here, I just have a couple. Make sure that's set correctly before I'm in combat. Okay. Now before I engage, I have my little group. 
Um, my name is in green, which means that I'm the group leader. It means that I can set the group roles. This is important. I have a little uh, a key here. And it's going to set me as, I believe that's the main assist and the main looter. I'm going to set my mercenary tank as the tank. And it's going to switch his uh, stance to aggressive. Make sure that he's awake before I pull. See if this works. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so it looks like that's not working. Let's set him as a tank. A little bit buggy. Rolls, master looter, that's good. I'll go back and debug that group roll set one. But whatever. Over here, I have a couple of hotkeys. One of them is engage. This is important to know is that um, you're gonna have pause before it goes on to the next. Uh, if you have an ability that or a spell that costs or that takes any time to cast or activate, um, it's a little bit backwards. The pause can go on the same line, but it has to go before the action that you're pausing after. It's just backwards. That's really strange but whatever uh, so what it's going to do it's going to skip this it's going to assist main the main assist is moogs my druid it's going to pause for for uh, 0.4 seconds just because of server lag it's going to send my pet into attack i don't need to pause after that because that's an instant ability then it's going to alt activate 8800. Uh, I don't remember exactly what that is. It could be force of elements. Yep, that's the ID number. Just a quick mana free nuke. It's going to wait one second after. It's going to alt activate 1041, whatever that is. Uh, well, if I remember, and it's going to pause for 4.3 seconds after that, and then it's going to cast four. I don't need to pause after this one because it's the last line. Uh, number four is an extra pet. Gonna add some DPS. That's fine. And the other one I'm gonna do. You can see it has an icon. I'm going to make sure that this is the same just because sometimes I skip the engage one because it's slower. And I just go straight to nuke and I, and uh, in the middle of battle, I'm just going to do nuke, 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 again and again and again. And just in case I lead off with that, I want to make sure that my pet is attacking and that I'm assisting on the correct mob. So assist main, that's going to make sure that it's always going to assist the main assist of the group. So I don't have to put a player name here, That's going to, as long as someone is set as, a play, as the main assist. Uh, what it's going to do is cast number two, quick nuke. Cast number three, another quick nuke. Cast number six, which is this one, which is a big nuke. And I can hit that as many times as I want. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I can right click and hold for a little bit. I can assign icon. I just happen to select this one. I think it's that one. Yep. Just so it stands out. And I can type in the name here. You can't really see because it's black. So I, it stands out on that background. But you can change it to different color. 
Having a white black on that one. Okay. So I am going to pull this with a snare and debuff it. I have my own nuke macro. But then I'm going to switch right over to the to the uh, magician and engage in the nuke. Engage. That's one click. Reroast my pet. I need another pet. That was all one click. I didn't click anything else. Go back to my druid. Try this out. Macro. Uh, so it looks like uh, I built into my macro the ability to use uh, group black wolf when it's up. Some extra DPS. I mean, uh, nukes going. That's one click again. Take plenty of time. Switch right over to my position. Get this nuke macro going with my mouse. I'm not clicking anything. Goes right there in the row. I don't have to mask my keyboard with the multi bind. It's probably more efficient, but that's okay. It's for good, quick, relaxed boxing. Don't even have to think about it. Not bad at all. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's find out. So here is alternative or the uh, advanced loop. Uh, this does not say it's hidden trade skill, it doesn't say it's no drop or no trade, so like AG for always greed. And the master looter. Oops, let's uh room here. Set to always auto ask roll. Okay. I want to wait for the countdown to go and roll between my two characters. I'm going to simulate that I have a little group. And it's going to award it to whoever gets the higher roll. And it's completely automatic. And I want to roll against my magician. She only rolled 599, so talk to her. Uh, if you're in a group and you have something like a gem drop, like a diamond, click AG. You should probably not select need or AN. Not just because it's kind of greedy, you don't need to do that. Um, let's see how this goes. Oh, I won that one too. 963 against... Uh, 72 so that was completely automatic looting didn't even have to look at the corpse and i'm pretty happy with that <laughs>